This is a quick tutorial video on dilations of lines. Um, a key concept that you're going to run into is the concept of scale factor. And I like to use the letter K to represent the scale factor. Now, an easy way to find the scale factor, depending on what information you're given, is that the scale factor is always going to be the new length or distance divided by the old length. Okay, so in this case, let's talk about the distance from the center of dilation Q. You can tell that this is the original distance, all right, from here to here, because the point is labeled W. If it were the new point, it would be labeled W prime. That's how I know that this distance is the new distance. So, the original distance is two, you know, as you can see right here, um, but the new distance is not 3.5, by the way. It's two plus 3.5. The new distance is all the way from Q to W prime. So that is 5.5. So, if I want to find the scale factor, it's going to be the new distance divided by the old distance. The new distance is 5.5. The old distance was 2. So, the scale factor is this. Okay, 2.75. All right, so that is the first question, what is the scale factor? And that's why the scale factor is 2.75. Now, given that uh, segment QY prime is 4.125. All right, and here is distance QY prime over here. And we're told this is 4.125. Notice this is a new distance, which would be here in the numerator. Um, and then what is QY? So QY is this distance right here, that is an old distance. So I'm going to call it x because that's what we're looking for. So we know that the scale factor, which I'm going to call k, is always equal to the new divided by the old. Um, so new divided by old. That's the formula for scale factor. But we now know that the scale factor is 2.75. So I'm going to plug that in. So 2.75 equals. Um, let's see. The 4.125, that is a new distance. So that would go in the top. And the old distance is what we're supposed to find. Now, if I wanted to solve this, I could cross multiply. Um, but there's a shortcut that I like to use that I'd like to tell you about now. Anytime you have um, something that's equal to a fraction, like for example, if I had A is equal to B over C. If I wanted to, I could switch the A and the C, the denominator with the thing that's by itself. So this would become C is equal to B over A, right? These can switch at any time. So that comes up a lot when I'm solving this type of equation. So the quickest way to solve this is just to swap these, which is the same thing you would get if you cross multiplied, but shortcut. So if I do 4.125 over 2.75. that one I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah. And that gives me 
So that should be the distance of Q Y. Now just, um, you know, we're finished answering these questions, but just to add to your knowledge a tiny bit more, another way of looking at this formula is to say that um, the new distances should equal the old distances times uh, the scale factor. All right, I'm just rewriting this equation in another way. So let's see that that makes sense on this particular problem. So um, the new distances should be the old distance times k. So let's just use this to check our answers. So the new distance was 4.125. So 4.125. That should equal the old distance. Um, let's see. We decided that the old distance was 1.5. And then the scale factor is 2.75. So the new distance should equal the old distance times 2.75. Let's check it out in the calculator. I'll just multiply 1.5 times 2.75. And if I do 1.5 times 2.75, oh look, 4.125, which is exactly what I'm supposed to get. So it does make sense.